Hey what's up guys and welcome to this Hero Wijnaldum review. I think that's how you pronounce it, some people say Wijnaldum but I'm pretty sure it's Wijnaldum, let me know in the comments. Anyway, just before we do get into this review, what do you guys make of these purple hero cards kinda becoming a regular weekly thing? Anywho, I think it's about time I started talking about this Hero Wijnaldum card and actually got into the point of this video which is a player review. The card has some very nice attributes on it, 83 pace which is nice, 86 dribbling which is awesome and 82 shooting which is not too bad at all but sadly he does have a 2 star weak foot which on a winger can be very, very frustrating. Looking at the in game stats then, as you can see this guy has good stamina of 88 which does mean he can last most of the game, decent agility and other physical attributes too, not the best strength which is noted. Skill attributes, we've got 87 dribbling which is pretty awesome. 83 finishing, which I didn't find his finishing to be that great, but if you are going to shoot with this guy, I would definitely advise the power shot instead, because that seemed to work much better for me. Long shots of 75, not the best, and then 81 shot passing, which was pretty good, because it definitely helped him out when it came to stuff like link-up play. Now, while doing this review, the first two games that I played with this Wijnaldum card, I was actually using him at left wing, and he just didn't get involved for me, so I switched him to left forward, and he got involved so much more, so if you do pick up this card, as you can probably imagine, I advise you guys to use him at left forward. It's quite weird because he does have good positioning, but when he was playing at left wing, he just wasn't involved at all, and when he eventually did get onto the ball, he just couldn't seem to do something with it because he got crowded out very, very quickly. But as soon as I moved him to left forward, he got involved so much more, he was available for passes more often, and um, he helped out creating chances, and he also got a few more chances for himself in that position. So, pretty much what I've just spent the last 30 seconds saying is, if you're going to use this guy, try and cut inside of him, because that is where you'll benefit from using this guy most. One negative that I really want to cover is that 2-star weak foot. Like, I don't know how he's got a 2-star weak foot. In FIFA 13, he had a 5-star weak foot. In FIFA 14 and 15, he had a 4-star weak foot. And for whatever reason, this year, he only has a 2-star weak foot. If you know why, let me know in the comments, because, uh, yeah, I kind of find that weird. It's like he's lost a foot. So now, on to why that 2-star weak foot is an issue. The guy is a winger, and you're not always going to be able to cut onto that right foot. So, um, yeah, that can be quite frustrating. What if you want to cross as well? You get down the wing and uh, you got a cross on his left foot. It's not the most accurate cross and your chance could be wasted. So if you're a guy who likes to cross, I wouldn't really advise picking up this Wijnaldum card. Anywho, it is time to summarise this hero Wijnaldum card. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. The guy has got decent pace. His dribbling is probably the best thing about him. I liked his shot power, but his finishing overall wasn't as good as the in-game stats suggest. Balance is pretty awesome, and he did make some pretty good runs. Negatives for me, being the strength and the 2-star weak foot, I really do feel like that 2-star weak foot lets him down. So, is he worth the coins? To be fair, he's a pretty cheap card and his price does seem to be dropping quite rapidly, which is awesome. But overall, there are plenty of better, faster, stronger, better dribblers, better crossers, better shooters, wingers that you can pick up for much less than the price of this hero card. Saying that, maybe you're a Newcastle fan, maybe you're a Wijnaldum fan and you really want to pick up this card, why not go for it? Although I will say... Just wait a few more days, let his price settle, and then pick him up. And as I've said numerous times in this review, if you do pick him up, I advise you guys to use him at left forward. Anyway guys, that is my review of Purple Hero Wijnaldum or Wijnaldum. If you have enjoyed, please remember to leave a like on the video, that would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good day. Adios.